Good afternoon, ladies and gentle pugs. It is I, your lord, the King Pug Gaming, and welcome back to episode 11 of this Let's Play Terraria 1.4.1 Master Mode. And right now in this game, we are diving right back in. Oh my god, what the heck happened? Why did my FPS suddenly drop to 20? Anyways, let's continue. Oh my god, what's up with this lag today? I don't understand. Alright, anyways, now let's just head to the dungeon because we got a task to do right now. And that task I said we were gonna do earlier is kill the lunatic Only because by now, we've basically reached the end of the game, so it makes sense to start the end of the world, right? Let's see what you got this time, Cultist. Probably not too much. Well, well, well. Attacked as easy as always, but. More tanky, don't like that. How stupid do you think I am, Lunatic Cultist? Seriously, that's one of your most easiest attacks to dodge. Um, did the Lunatic Cultist spells in Master Mode get nerfed? Because I don't seem to be taking too much damage from them. I'd really hate to know that. It seems like they did get nerfed. I feel bad for the cultist. At the same time, I don't. That's the real one right there. Ha! Can't fool me! Halfway dead. I'm pretty sure he'll start shooting another spell very soon, right? Yep, there's another one of his attacks. Ancient Light. So scary. Kiss your glones goodbye, cultist. There we go. What? There's still one left? Come on, man. I swear, if when, when the cultist dies, if he spawns the solar pillar right in front of me immediately, this episode is over. Just like that. Hi there. Alright, now we're gonna kill him and let's see what pillar we're gonna have to fight first. Hope it's not the solar pillar. I hate that pillar a lot. Okay. Okay, so what is the nearest pillar close by? Oh, it's the Stardust Pillar. Are you kidding me? The solar pillar is at my base. Ugh. Why have you forsaken me, RNG? Alright then, let's just go see how difficult the Stardust Pillar is, so that way we can know what to do. Honestly, at this event, I think I'm going to die. A lot. Oh cool, the shield even has its own health bar now. Which is nice and all, but... I don't like the monsters here though. Oh, got the last spikes! Ugh, I don't like this. Oh, the red health bar is just underneath. Ouch! Okay, star cells hurt a lot. Why am I all dead so quickly? Uh, I, I don't like this. Okay, I'm gonna die a lot in this event, but I'm making progress at defeating the Stardust Pillar, so that's good news, right? This jerk is invading my steampunker and party girl's home. This is the nurse's home, but she died. But just before I release some external rage, I'm gonna place the Ancient Manipulator and the Lunatic Cult Relic. So that way I won't have to forget about placing them. Okay, there's the Ancient Manipulator. And the cultist relic. All right, there we go. All right, now let's just go kill these solar jerks that are invading my nearby homes of the steampunker and the nurse. Now come at me, solar pillar. Show me what you got. Uh oh, oh! Don't want to get hit by that crawl to beat. Still too easy to kill. Ah! Okay, I don't like this. Y'all should know this, but I fear nothing from this game. But this event. It scares me. So, am I really gonna kill the Solar Pillar so easily? Even when it's the hardest pillar in all of the Celestial events? I'm gonna be surprised if I do. Okay, I need to put on my Spectra armor. Just so that way I can heal quickly without getting killed. Okay, just take a health potion and find something to heal. Crawl to beat, perfect subject! Oh yeah, that's a lot of health! Oh, thank you so much, man. Oh my god. The crawl to beat heals me so much when you have the Spectra armor on. I literally just got healed for over 400 HP. Which is amazing. Oh, oh, oh my god, no. Oh, this is only bad. This is only bad because of the lag spikes. I don't like this. Help me. I'm sending out four of my Frost Hydras to help me out with this chaos. Now do your work, men. Oh god, not the lag spike! I hate the lag spike so much! Um... How many monsters do we have to kill in Maximo to destroy a pillar shield? 
If it's 200, I'm gonna cry. It doesn't change the fact that I've survived this event for quite a long time now. Like, literally, am I about to beat the solar pillar first try? No, no! Don't touch my face, crawl to beat! Oh! Jesus Christ! This guy took half of my HP! Oh my god, this is scary! Okay, I died against the solar pillar for the first time. But, I almost took down the shield, so that's progress. Haha, <laughs> look at the frost hydras go! Go, man! You got this! Come on, Korites, just get hit already. Now, will they charge at me once I, um, respawn? That'll be terrifying if they do. But, I hope not, because that'll be really scary. You would dead! Y'all may not know this, but I have the biggest grudge in the Celestial event against the Solar Pillar. Only because there's a lot of monsters, the Crocopy does incredibly massive damage, and if you have no armor, the Crocopy can one-shot you. Now, it's time to try and kill this thing. For the first time in Master Mode. I'm pretty sure the Solar Pillar didn't have its HP increased, uh, that 40,000. If it did, it's a bit tanky. Hello there. I'm just gonna kill the remainder of your monsters. Don't worry. I'm causing no harm. NOT YET THOUGH! And lag spikes, please have mercy on me! Okay, the shield is down. What? I was killed by a solar flare. Okay, solar pillar's HP is still 20,000. Good, nothing changed. Now let's get back over there and destroy this thing. I'm gonna be here for quite some time. I've only been playing this game right now for almost 20 minutes! And this celestial event's already driving me crazy. I'm gonna use my charged blaster cannon to kill the solar pillar really fast. After all, it's a very straightforward laser beam. Just gotta charge it up. And fire! Oh, I'm hitting it. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Finally, it's dead! Ah. Gah. I hate this pillar so much! Your mind goes numb. That will lead to something really bad. You show them who's boss party girl! Keep throwing your confetti grenades at him! Come on. Do it again. Okay, never mind. And also, just because I'm curious, I might have a little bit of a look at the Moon Lord before this episode is over. I died four times against the solar pillar. Uh, that's a new record. Now let's collect these fragments. Wonder what they're used for. And how many did we get? Wait, 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 wait. Did I just see that right? Did we get over 70 solar fragments? I don't, hang on, lag spike. Let me look at my so I got 77 solar fragments. Excuse me! You son of a gun! The things I'm gonna do to these pillars! Ah, <sighs> finally it's daytime. Solar pillar is dead. No more solars and no more annoying monsters. So, what's new with solar fragments? Solar fragment block, solar brick. Ah, that's new. What? Did I just see that? Solar flare drill. Oh my goodness. We got a new drill in the game. Perfect. And the sprite looks cool as heck. Now let's go for these vortex pillar, because it's a lot easier than the stardust pillar. Why do pillars spawn in my NPC homes? Well, the main plan against these pillars now is to not die. Oh my god, they killed the triad. She did nothing wrong, you monsters. Now I'm half of the triad, I'm gonna bury you in hell. Okay, that was a bad idea. Hornets spawn anywhere. Oh my god, Hella just came and they got killed instantly. Oh, these guys are monsters. Clearly they're monsters, that's what their stats say. And I got struck by lightning. A non-classical way to die. Oh my god. I forgot I had the toxic flask. It can it can create projectiles that can easily hit enemies through walls. What was I thinking? Dryad, you need to get out of here! It's not safe in the jungle. The Vortex Pillar will kill you again. Hey Vortex Monsters, eat this! How does that taste, huh? Doesn't taste poisonous? If there's a good time to use the razor blade typhoon, it'd be right now. Okay, this. Almost died. The alien queens are still after me. Nope, that was just a storm diver. Can someone lend me a hand? <laughs> Laura, get out of here! 
I need help right now. All right, now I just gotta heal, heal, and heal. That's all. Come on, Frost Hydra. Help me defend these NPCs and this jungle. Shield's halfway dead, but I can't rest yet. Please don't have too many lag spikes. No, they killed the painter. Emily, you need to leave now. There we go. Alien Hornet Banner. Now I can easily kill that swarm of monsters. Really? This is the game we're playing now? I'm not gonna feel bad at killing you. Oh, alien queens are so tanky. 3,000 HP. I really don't like that. Alien hornets are easy to kill. Let's just kill this alien queen now. Or Texan? Is that a Texas joke right there? Because I find it funny. Ah, Spectra armor is more effective than the Dark Artist armor in, against this Vortex builder. So yeah, I'm using this against it now. Oh yeah, now that's a lot of damage! Ah, this is amazing. Okay, yes, yes, yes! Give me all that damage. It's good. What the Vortex monster doesn't say is that help us, we're dying! Vortex builder can't save you. And if it tries to save you, it'll cost it in fire. Try it, leave now! We only have one monster left to kill before the Vortex Pillar shield is destroyed. I don't know if I'm gonna survive. God dang it, Dryad, I told you to leave. Come on, one more mon one more monster. Hurry up. This lag spike is gonna kill me! Oh, how much longer before this lag kills me? And Nurse is dead. Come on. Why do you do this? Okay, new armor arrangement. Spectra armor when the shield's not down. Dark artist armor when the shield is down. Now I'm gonna bury you in hail, Vortex Pillar. Yeah. I hope you like icicles to do your alien flesh. You are overwhelmed with pain. Yes, I am. Ah, you're crazy. Ah, it's all right. Let's just go get our vortex fragments and go kill the nebula pillar. Huh, we only got 49 Vortex Fragments. What a shame. Anyways, now let's just kill the Nebula Pillar. Pretty close by. I fear this one will be harder than the Vortex Pillar. Oh, come on, this event should be easy. The number of monsters means nothing. All right, now let's take down that shield. All right, now what's the one thing I hate about the Nebula Pillar? Well, for one, the Brain Sucklers and the Nebula Floater. Ah! Okay, I don't like this. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it would be. All right, Spectra Armor, heal, heal, and heal. Okay, now let. Oh no, you don't, Brain Suckler! You are not sucking on my brain. Okay, that sounded a lot more weirder than I intended it to be. <laughs> oh yeah, now I'm getting the handle of the Nebula Pillar. I haven't even died a single time yet. Y'all know what the most random thing that could possibly happen in this episode? Me killing the Moon Lord on the first try. All right, wanna know what chances? 50. Why does this blue health bar remind me of Cure Mode from Plague Inc. Evolved? Because Cure Mode is blue. Now it's time for the healing! Oh, thank you, Spectra Armor. You're a lifesaver. Oh, I don't like this. These Brain Stucklers almost killed me. <sighs> Shield's almost down. My allergies are here. All right, Shield is down. Now let's kill the Nebula Pillar. And then we can claim its fragments as ours. All right, Nebula Pillar is dead. And I died. Especially when it died. Otherworldly voices linger around you. Uh-oh. But how many nebula fragments did I get from one nebula pillar? But yeah, I'm still not 100% sure. We can kill the Moon Lord on the first try. After all, it's Master Mode. Master Mode makes his death ray almost kill you with one shot if you're not careful. But I guess against the Moon Lord, I just gotta depend on the power of hope, maybe? If you see my Moon, Moon Lord death ray buff update nutshell, then you already know exactly how hard this boss will be. Now that Moon, the Moon Lord's phantasmal death ray can penetrate through blocks. Which makes him far more dangerous than he seems. That doesn't look like too many nebula fragments. Let's see how many we got. And we got... 48. That's just one less than the Vortex Pillar. Man, that's just sad. Oh well, let's make a new weapon. Okay, I just made the Nebula Blaze by accident. And it's the best nebula magic weapon you can craft. Because it does a lot of damage, which is good. Nebula Blaze, 180 magic damage, 23% crit chance, very fast speed, no knockback, uses 9 mana, from Orion's Bell to the palm of your hand. And it's really powerful. Should I make the Nebula Arcanum? Ah, sure, whatever, why not? Black Holes, for days. Oh, I'm left with 12 Nebula Fragments. That means if I die to the Moon Lord, then I'm gonna have to do the whole Celestial event again, and I'm gonna hate it. 
now let's get a mythical eh, nebula blaze and nebula arcanum this may take a while can the nebula blaze get mythical i need to look that up just looked it up and for mythical nebula blaze no you can't get that you can only get demonic deadly or mystic that's the best prefixes for the nebula blaze i'll just keep the mystic nebula blaze it's it's good still. Now the Nebula Arcanum. It can get mythical because it uses a lot more mana. Oh yeah, I knew it. The best prefix for the Nebula Arcanum is mythical. <laughs> yeah. And the best part about these Nebula weapons for me is that all of them deal over 100 damage, while the Nebula Blaze deals almost 200 damage. Hey there, Sunny. Would you like a peek at my crystal ball? Oh, oh sorry. sorry. It was a black yeah. hole. Let's just see the damage output of these weapons. Okay, Nebula Blaze can exceed over 2,000. Okay, that's all pretty good. Now let's check out the Nebula Arcana. Okay, it lacks the game a little bit, but it's clear that the Nebula Arcanum can get to almost 6,000 damage per second, which is real good. Even though the Nebula Arcanum releases a slow-moving projectile, it still does a lot of damage, no doubt about that. I need a test subject to test out the Nebula Blaze's power, and I found one, the Empress of Light. Hello again. This weapon's far more powerful than I thought it would be. Let's see if I can kill the Empress of Light at dawn. Well, nope, but I'm getting close though. And the Empress of Light killed three of my NPCs. I don't appreciate that. So yeah, needless to say, I underestimated the power of the Nebula Blaze. It's a really good magic weapon. I shouldn't doubt things way too much. Well, it's clear to me that the Nebula Arcanum is going to be completely useless against the Empress of Light at Dawn. Because the projectiles are too slow to even hit her. Now, so that way we can see what the Moon Lord is like in Master Mode, let's kill the Stardust Pillar. And now, while monsters are alive against the Stardust Pillar, I'll use the Blaze. But, while monsters, while the shield is down, I'll use the Arcanum to quickly kill the Stardust Pillar. Welcome back, Steampunker. Try not to die while I fight the Moon Lord. Now it's time to avenge my first death. This is a solid and clean strategy of defeating the Stardust Pillar. Kill a star cell, let them split, then let them regrow, then let them grow back, and then kill them again. But while doing this, try not to die. Okay, this is helping a lot. I don't even have to kill any other Stardust monsters. Thanks, Star Cells. Love you. But even when Star Cells are about to grow back to what they were before they were destroyed, they still deal a lot of damage, so be careful. And of course, Bomb Productions call it these bubbles, because the Stardust Pillar created these Star Cells, and... He likes bubbles. I mean, as a kid, I loved bubbles! They were so much fun. Now, how much closer are we to destroying the shield? Oh my god! We took the shield down that quickly? Oh, Jesus! Oh man, that's incredible. I'm glad I came up with a strategy all by myself. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Wow, just like me, almost done it by my own strategy. Now it's time to die, Stardust Pillar. Nebula Arcanum, do your thing. And please don't kill me. And the Stardust Pillar is dead. Now we gotta get the fragments quickly. Impending Doom approaches. I am dead. Let's get them after we kill the Moon Lord. Or try to kill. Uh, yeah. This could be a problem. Man, this sucks because I have, like, no time to prepare for the Moon Lord. Now I just gotta get to my arena quickly and fight it. Alright, now let's do this. His head's gonna be a lot harder to kill because it has almost 100,000 HP! Oh my goodness gracious! Well, I tried. So yeah, Master Mode Moon Lord is gonna be a pain in the booty! It also sucks because you, like, have no time to prepare for the Moon Lord be before he arrives and kills you instantly. Alright, let's get the Stardust Fragments and try this again. And I got 54 Stardust Fragments. Not bad at all. Now let's just craft 8 more Nebula Fragments to craft a Celestial Sigil. And for more Summon Power, the Stardust Dragon Staff. Broken, are you kidding me? Alright, I'll go with the Masterful Stardust Dragon Staff. This episode so far has just been Internal Screaming and External Rage. And I don't like it. Anyways, now let's test our might one last time against the Moon Lord before I end the episode. I already know I'm not going to be able to kill him. Well, if I know, I gotta at least try and give up. Are you ready for this? I'm not. Come on, show your face, Moon Lord. I won't cry. Oh my god, that's way too bright! Am I really going to do it this time? No. I could just at least get the Moon Lord's he health halfway down. Okay, maybe I shall live for another minute or so. Teleported right into his death ray. Come on. I was doing so well, though. Okay. Next episode, we're killing the Moon Lord. End of story. But we got so close this time. Oh my god, what was I thinking? Anyways, now let's end this episode. So I hope y'all have enjoyed watching me lose my sanity. And as always, thanks for watching, y'all. Have a great day, and stay pug -tastic! Oh god, that voice cracked.
Voldemort's gonna die someday, and that day is not.